Hello and welcome. I own a lot of devices that are powered by lithium batteries. These include my hearing aids, a stick vacuum cleaner, mobile phone, noise cancelling headsets, a watch, TV remote, iPad, iPod, smoke detector, laptop computer and cameras. I bet you do too. When I travel, my watch, headset, camera, laptop, iPad and phone go with me. This is true of many passengers that travel by air. Even the air crew have lithium battery powered devices such as the pilot's electronic flight bags, defibrillator in the first aid chest, emergency flashlights and emergency locator transmitter. Yes, the growth of lithium batteries since 2009 has been exponential. The problem is that lithium batteries can catch fire if damaged or if battery terminals are short-circuited. Batteries catching fire have been known to bring down planes. Should your personal electronic devices containing lithium metal batteries or lithium ion batteries be kept in carry-on baggage or should they go with your checked baggage into the aircraft luggage hold? Either way, they should be turned completely off and protected from accidental activation and damage. Spare lithium metal batteries and lithium ion batteries are prohibited in checked baggage going into the hold. In fact, lithium batteries are deemed dangerous goods when shipped by air. The International Civil Aviation Organization, affiliated with the United Nations, banned the shipping of lithium ion batteries as cargo on passenger aircraft because of safety concerns. The move dealt only with commercial cargo, not the electronic devices carried on board or stowed in the cargo hold by passengers in their baggage. A ban on most passenger electronics in the cabins of some US bound flights from certain countries is aimed at thwarting terrorist attacks, but it also raises questions about the safest place to stow devices with lithium ion batteries on airplanes. Yet, because the lithium ion batteries in laptops occasionally, though rarely, burst into flames, the new rule raises the question, is it dangerous to store hundreds of laptops in suitcases in the hold of an airplane? The issue has been studied extensively by aviation safety experts over the past few years. There is a balance here, says John Cox, a former pilot and CEO of Safety Operation Systems, an aviation consulting firm. As we put lithium-ion batteries in cargo holds, they are no longer in an area where the crew can deal with them if they do catch fire. And the fire suppression systems using only halon have not proved to be effective on lithium-ion fires. If you have a cargo hold with numerous lithium batteries, once one goes and starts that heating process, it can propagate to further devices, Cox says. You have this reignition. He acknowledges the challenge in weighing the threat of terrorism against the threat of an in-flight battery fire. Lithium-ion batteries are a known safety risk, says Karen Walker, Editor-in-Chief of Air Transport World, an airline industry trade publication. If they catch fire, it's a very intense heat. When a battery malfunctions, it's usually because the membranes that separate the charges in the battery are breached, which creates a short circuit and generates a sudden release of energy. The violent burst of energy causes the battery to reach temperatures approaching 540 degrees centigrade, potentially destabilizing nearby batteries, creating a condition known as thermal runaway. It's important to keep the dangers in perspective, given that millions of devices powered by rechargeable lithium-ion batteries are used every day. The FAA requires that spare batteries, those not installed in the device, be limited to carry-on bags because of the potential for a battery with unprotected electrodes to come into contact with a loose metal object and short out, causing it to ignite. I guess the message is be alert, but not alarmed. Travel with your personal electronic devices by all means, 
but be extra careful how you handle and store your spare batteries. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to promote more content.